you have to run the rule first and then select your ISO file and then check everything is okay and then click start it will start erasing your whole data and select the data mode to just prevent the errors and click ok and ok and uh, boot into the pen drive and select to the uh, state I am in the country and then language it is detecting some components and it is just going to configure network hardware I don't have any network hardware so it will be failed automatically so you can click do not configure like this and choose your host name and then continue and you can choose your username for username and you can enter your password your password should be strong enough and you have to choose your time zone and this keeping the same thing is turned So then continue and we are going to manually for a partition or disk so select manual and then select your hard drive and uh, create an empty partition like this and choose your free space of free partition and select the automatically partition to free space you can even manually create that but I'm choosing the automatic and uh, all files in one partition for the new users and separate all the file partitions like this so I'm just choosing the third option and then you can see all the partitions have been created for that drive SCSI1 and uh, you can see that the boot partition and after that you can see SCSI1 15678 now you have to just finish the partition and write changes to this but please make sure that it is the same thing just please make sure that you are installing or uh, formatting the same partition that you have created because you might delete the, your second hard drive's data so please make sure and click continue and then you yeah. As you see, these are the same uh, partitions. Now click S and then continue. Now it will start formatting your partitions and then installing the base system. And you'll see a software to install options like this. I'm, uh, I'm installing XFC and all of the tools, so I'm clicking that. And and you have to install a grub a grub and reboot and you'll be redacted to your login page you have to log in and then boom